if you see something and you think it looks sick and you want to go out and do that, that's what got me into Third Strike. That's true. How many, I think so many people, when they saw Evil Moment 37, they're like, I want to do that. And I'm pretty sure so many people has tried to parry that super hero. 100%. I want to try that. What is up, everybody? This is Justin Wong. And we reacted to another Maximilian Dudes video. And this time it's about what fighting game should we play. He made a video about it because a lot of people want to know, you know, what fighting game should people get into. But if you want to see the actual reasoning, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button down below and turn on the bell for the notifications. And let's get in the video. Somebody just asked, is Guilty Gear Strive a good game to get into fighting games. Is this is this like the good opportunity to get into fighting games? I would say inherently, yes. This is a good game for you to jump into fighting games. That's Guilty true. Or... I think a lot of people ask that question. Uh, I never played fighting games before. Uh, should Guilty Gear Strive be like that fighting game I pick up? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, it's new, good netcode, um, much more simplified. So it definitely has great reasons to, to pick it up. So I think, yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I think if you want to play a fighting game, you should just try out, try it out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be good to be strive. It could be like Street Fighter or Tekken. Um, it just depends on what, what you want to play. I think that's what it comes down to. I think when people ask, should I get into Guilty Gear Strive? I want to get into fighting games. I think it means more of like, I want to be part of the FGC or I want to just like be, be competitive and try new game out competitively. I feel like that's more of like the hidden intent of the question when people say, should I play Guilty Gear Strive? Should I get into Guilty Gear Strive? Guilty Gear has one huge caveat that is gonna be much more easy for anyone to get into, if not want to get better, if not try to learn a game. And it is the fact that it's netcode is very good. Netcode, yeah. something that is- That's that is the best selling point. Here's what I like to say. Number one, the best time to get into a fighting game is when it's new. Yeah, that's true. When a new fighting game does come out, that's definitely where interest peaks. That's where people are interested in like, hey, should I get into like, maybe like when KO 15 comes out, there's gonna be people coming in here. Hey, uh, should I get into King of Fighters 15? I used to play this game. I wanna know if it's something that I could, you know, translate into. We're gonna see that a lot of, a lot of those type of questions as fighting games move forward that's for sure when it is new when it's actually at its full price right this is why waiting for the ultimate edition of fighting games can be very rough down the line you're essentially throwing your ass into the wolves by waiting for the thing to oh yeah to 20 that's bucks. true yeah i'm actually very surprised at that like uh when you have like ultimate editions come out and then i guess companies hope that, that pe more people will pick up the game. It's definitely a double-edged sword. You have more people buying the game if it's the ultimate edition, it gets cheaper, but you have players more easily wanting to quit because, you know, everyone is way far advanced than you and then you have to start from st level one while everyone's at level like 100. The, the first month of a fighting game is so magical that it's probably one of my favorite experiences in this entire industry yep. throughout all genres of games i love when a new fighting game comes out one of my favorite things in the world to do is playing a new fighting game it doesn't have to be a new fighting game that just came out but just a new fighting game in general i love that it's so good it's like the sickest feeling in the world because you learn so much you're getting better you see progress and you just you just see so much cool stuff. The discovery period's incredible, but it's not just the discovery period. It is that matchmaking thing. You're getting into a game where there is going to be the most people playing the game at the launch month yeah. of that fighting game That's than true. any other period. I like matches, of its but I just think just, just learning and seeing all the tech, like every morning I wake up, I check out Twitter and I see all this new tech that's that's people found out from like you know other time zones around the world and i'm like i get to go lab now you know what i mean that's the sickest thing going forward here's the game launch at any point the spike of players is going to go up and then gradually it will never ever reach that peak ever again yeah ever again. sadly it might up when some new updates come out sadly it happens yeah you have a chance of pairing up with other people that is in a similar skill level of yours and that is one of the biggest deterring factors of all fighting games mm. for people that want to get into them i just like playing like the person could be better than me i just want to have people to play with and also learning to me it's just learning is just an incredible feeling especially fighting games i i love that interaction 
the interaction is pretty pretty freaking awesome. Guilty Gear Strive is literally perfect. We also just had an opportunity with like Virtual Fighter. And why do you think everyone's enjoying Virtual Fighter right now? It doesn't even have great netcode. What? Virtual Fighter? I, I had fun with Virtual Fighter because the netcode was sick. I think Virtual Fighter was, was, is sick. But if the game didn't have online or had like decent netcode, I probably would not be, I probably wouldn't have played during the, you know, during the times before Guilty, Guilty Gear Strive came out. You know what I mean? It's because of netcode and the fact that people were playing was the reason why I was playing Virtual Fighter at least, at least for my case. Virtual Fighter hasn't been a thing for 10, 15 years. Barely anybody knows what they're doing. So everyone's learning with each other right now. And you have the, the VF heads that are trying to help everybody out. The VF heads were pretty, pretty nice. They definitely were, was teaching me a lot. So big shout out to the VF community for sure. So number one, most important element, a fighting game is new is the best time for you to get into it. The other best time is any other time, like literally, like linear time. Any other time after this is a good time to get into it because the more time that passes, mm. the less people will be playing the game. The longer you take in getting into a into a new fighting game that has come out, it's definitely harder to get into because now if you're playing like the old, if you want to like, if someone says, oh, I want to get into Mario's Capcom 2, it's really hard to get into Mario's Capcom 2. One, there's no resources. Two, people are not actively playing. Three, uh, if you don't already own it on Xbox 360 or PS3, you can't buy it on the from the from the store anymore. And you also have to make sure you find a group that plays it. You got to join a Discord, uh, get people on the same page. Um, you have to go with, deal with delay based netcode. So it's like it's harder to get into fighting games as the more time passes, especially depending on when the game released. For me, I'll give any fighting game a chance, but it needs to give me a reason to come back yeah. and want to keep playing. I always give fighting games a chance. Uh, it's just my thing. I love just trying out new fighting games. I can speak for myself as well as anybody else that's a casual. If you see something and you think it looks sick and you want to go out and do that, that's what got me into Third Strike. That's what made me eventually play the fighting yeah. games that I played more than any fighting game ever. That's true. How many, I think so many people, when they saw Evil Moment 37, they're like, I want to do that and i'm pretty sure so many people has tried to parry that super 100 percent. i want to try that that's how dirt strike became super popular again fgc grew because of that because everybody was like i want to do that people need a reason for me to come back and want to get beat up if not find better competition and find good opponents if not make friendships or you are like connected to your character that's like the one thing i like about fighting games is that I'm able to to play to, to find a character in any game where I'm just like, this is my character. This is what character I really like. I really like the style. And I think that's like one of the greatest parts about fighting games is that you can really resonate towards a character. Some people will go through a single player mode of a fighting game, think it's really cool and want to actually get good at the game itself. I, for me personally, I, I would say that at least not for me. I love single player mode games and Mortal Kombat. I feel like NRS games like Mortal Kombat, Injustice, you know, those type of games have great story modes, single player games, but man, I cannot stand the actual gameplay. I don't like Injustice, I don't like MK11, I only like MK9 and MK10, but like the all the other games, I mean, like the story mode though, is fire. So fire. But I, it doesn't want me to get better at the game. Or the best fighting game that you should get into is the one that you think looks badass, has characters that you love, or has some gameplay elements that you think is sick. Yeah, that, that, that's also kind of why I've been lo loving retro games so much lately, just because like, I always wanted to get better at like these older titles I never had the opportunity to get better at. And yeah, now I'm, I'm actually able to go through it. You know, even though the pandemic is bad, like I was able to really adapt to it by, you know, streaming and playing retro stuff and just going back and looking at these other games in a different light so i'm able to enjoy more of the older games. and if you just want me to tell you just tell me what i should play someone did have that suggestion i and i appreciate the honesty of that i don't want to think about it just tell me what i should play go play guilty gear it has great net code go play guilty go gear it has a great net code go play guilty gear that's true Please like, share, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Also comment on the videos and let me know what kind of like suggestions you want me to make in terms of video content and everything. I'm trying to, you know, get 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 up there. So if you if you want to support the boy, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. We try to we try to get these YouTube videos out there. We try to get more people to understand fighting games, enjoy fighting games. But yeah, I mean, other than that, man, keep doing your thing. Stay safe, stay healthy. 
I love you guys and appreciate it and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.